Hey guys, Phil Monteleone, the book peddler here, coming to you with another YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, this channel involves everything in my life in the used book business, run a brick and mortar store. Um, I appreciate all the feedback of the last couple videos. I know I gained a lot of new subscribers, so I welcome you to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. This intro is going to be a, a slight bit of length, just so I get in everything I'd have to say. I want to thank everybody who donated to the Buy Me a Coffee for the In Shop Coffee Fund. Miha B, Maze Books, and Ari Baver Tyan, something like that. You know who you are. I really appreciate your support, guys. And um, I guess also I, I would like to thank Kent and Dayton. And there's a couple others for their business this past weekend. Thank you very much. And um, it's been a pretty busy week. I've been uh, visiting with YouTube subscribers who have come here. Actually, I have a couple from, I believe, Ohio coming to uh, the shop tomorrow. So these books here that I'm about to show you came from a woman named Helene Vaishan. And here's her card. She's in Knoxville, Tennessee. And it'll be the picture of the main video with me and Hel Helene. She's been a book dealer for a while, so we did some trading and some buying. Um, I hope, wish you the best on your travels, Helene. Um, it was a real pleasure meeting you. And then Tom Barney of Barney Loves Books came in. He's got a shop in Jersey. I visited with him two years ago, and it was his first time in the shop. So, Tom, thank you for all your support. As always, you guys are sweethearts. And um, I always look forward to meeting new people. So without further ado, we'll, we'll get to these books. There's some beautiful books here I'd like to show you guys. And we'll start with this one here. The Complete Angler by Walt in 1889. Look at the tooling on, on, on this leather. It's, it's absolutely beautiful binding. And I'll take you inside for the uh, title page here. This book has just sold. There it is right there. London. Um, so again, a, a very uh, popular work filled with engravings. Um, so yeah, this is going down the road. I had it for a short period. There you go. Oh, and guys, bef before uh, uh, she doesn't want to be on camera, that's fine. I completely understand because uh, if I wasn't doing this, I would you would never see my face in the public. But uh, I have an employee now that I mentioned before, and she's the one holding the camera. It's Jordan, so uh, she she's uh, been wonderful. All the work that you see going on in that red building, she's predominantly doing a, like most of the organization, cleaning. She's been wonderful, so um, thank you, Jordan. Uh, and I, I I don't answer much. I have her sometimes. Uh, I demand that she calls me Master Book Peddler, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's simple things like that. Not much to ask for, but uh, she's doing great, and she's doing a lot of the listings. I'm doing the processing. She's doing the listings. If you see the pictures um, and you see hands with rings on them, it's not me. <laughs> okay? Tattoos so, and rings are yeah, me. It's, 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 that's Jordan's hand, okay? And she's a convenient scapegoat, too. If I mess something up, she gets blamed, so... <laughs> You know, that's how it works. But um, anyhow, that's who's been running the camera. And maybe someday in the future, if she wants to get on, she's always welcome on. So uh, We'll see, guys. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. Maybe, maybe you'll get a taste. So. <laughs> but anyhow, all right, we'll get back to the books here. Here's another uh, Complete Angler, Bound in Vellum by Isaac Walton. This is a really pretty book. It's uh, 1931, illustrated by Arthur Rackham. And it's signed by Rackham. Let me show you that signature. There you go right there, number 292. I'll show you the title page. Let's see. Well, there's a... It's got beautiful drawings throughout Rackham. I've sold a number of his, his books that he's done with Hans Christian Andersen. Um, the paper is great. It's all cut. Let me see if I can find you another illustration, guys. see here all right here we go there's one right there so just a lovely book it would make a great gift real specialty item right there and um okay let's go i'll show you these quickly the trapper's guide 
I love uh, trapping books. This is by New House. Um, let me see. Curing their skins. What what's the date? 1893 on this one. But um, again, this is really popular material in my shop. So now let me take you to. Well, before I do, I also got New York ones. This particular one I found really interesting. This is Laws in New York, um, 1813. And in this are actually they have they deal with slave laws in here in this state. So that 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 was really interesting. And I should have tabbed it out for you. But trust me, it's in there. It's it's pretty pretty interesting. So that was cool. And uh, the other New York book that I found really interesting was this one. And it's on a uh, uh, building subways in New York. This is like 1920s, really cool, or 1915. Really cool book. It's got its issues. It's got a lot of soiling, but um, templates of the subway system. Really great addition for, for my shop. Now, I'll show you a wild card book. This is a wild card book. It's The Russian Conquest of the Caucasus by Bailey. And I've been looking into this guy a little bit very lightly this is an extremely scarce title it has five pull out maps illustrations within it's a first edition i believe it's 1905 um, or 1908 and basically this guy was going to unexplored areas in the caucuses he he i actually pulled up a little i'll just show you through the book it does have foxy on the outer page edging there's a map okay so basically, I pulled up a little thing. This this guy did a lot of anthropological research, ethnography, unexplored regions of Manchuria and of Asiatic and Southern Russia. Um, he was like an expert on these kind of untapped areas and had sources of work that hadn't been seen before. Um, and so he compiled them in this book. And I believe he wrote another one very scarce specialized book so i thought this was great and um so anyhow thank you Helene, for uh trading and buying and all that with me i really am enjoying the books now i'm going to take you to one more book and then i'm going to show you a specialty item that i picked up and i shared this on my instagram it's a ledger and this was put together by a young girl i believe her name was hattie in 1879 Syracuse New York and I'm gonna get you on the interior here so what Hattie did this is before TVs and kids use their imagination the front page here is of a old Victorian home and as you go through the book this is the outer ground she's decorated each room as to how she would have it look so she put cutouts in there's wallpaper um, she used uh, tissue paper it's a really, really neat book of like a child's a, a imagination, basically, during this time and setting up her own. It's like a dollhouse in a book. Somebody asked me, how do you value a, a, a book like this? And what, what I would say is it's not these individual things aren't worth much of anything. It's the compilation and the thought process behind it. It's like a little time capsule of this, of this little girl's uh, imagination during a Victorian era. So I really got a kick out of this book. It'd probably go really good at a paper show. But, um, so anyways, I, I, I had to have it. So, one of a kind, unique piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you uh, an interesting piece here. Okay, so this isn't book related, obviously. But I found it really interesting. I've always heard if you haven't seen it before, don't be afraid to buy it. And um, this is a, a tankard or a pitcher, okay, that you pour beer from. It's a colonial piece. This is wrapped in leather. It's of the image of a, of a woman. Um, now, it's either colonial American or it's colonial African. And um, here, I'll show you like the inside of it if you want to see it. But basically, this would be in like a, a tavern, and you'd pour beer from it. I'd never heard or seen something like this. Not the most pleasant-looking piece, <laughs> kind of haggard, but uh, anyhow, the, the guy was telling me 
um, that usually these kind of things, they would be of men with like a three-pointed hat. And this is a woman, so it makes it different. Now, my buddy believes that um, uh, that it's his gut is telling him it's colonial African, probably. There was a Revolutionary War figure named Molly Pitcher. And so we kind of thought it was funny that maybe it's a Molly Pitcher. You know, she fought in a battle during the Rev War and everything. There's a story behind it. But anyhow, the leather looked right. The stitching looked right. And I took a shot at it. So if you guys have any feedback out there as to what you think, pretty interesting. I'm calling her my, my Molly Pitcher. So, okay, I think that'll be it, guys. So I really appreciate you uh, um, what seeing the new finds coming in. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.